Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I have the e-machine case open. There is nothing wrong with it. But let me tell you why I have it open. One bit, I made a video of me just re replacing the um, back plates on here. Now, after seven or eight years, it just started acting crazy. So, I backed up all my files, pictures, music, all of that. And I replaced the motherboard and more memory. Now, when I first bought this, I it came with only 512 megabytes. So I picked it out to two gigs. That's the most you can put into that motherboard. And basically, seven, eight years passed. My motherboard was starting to act weird. So I bought a new motherboard and memory from Newegg at a good price, a reasonable price. And it's a big upgrade from two gigs of memory up to eight. Two to eight, that's a large ocean step for speed. Now, someone seen the video and was like, wow, I only got one gig, but can you basically do to my computer what you did to yours? What do you say? E-machine is going to be jealous, right? So to say. Now, let's see what he got up in this boy. Five hundred and twelve megabytes, like I said. But he has two of these, so. He only has two gigs. Now, I see he has the same power supply that I basically replaced with a brand new one. So, he's going to have to get a new motherboard, some memory. He can still use the heat sink because it's the same socket type. But I would highly recommend him to get another power supply. Because who's there to say that once I get this mother, the new motherboard going, like I have in here, that this one would not go bad the minute I start install. Then I would have to get another power supply, reinstall and image it, Joseph, I'll sweep this trash up. All over again. And that would be the last thing that I need. So, with parts and labor, I'm going to charge him $350. And a new motherboard will come with a three-year warranty, but I'm going to honor, only honor it for one year. So, with that being said, once I get the payment, then I will order the parts. I'm not going to invest my own money into somebody else's computer. You get burned that way. And I'm not going for that. Um, that's basically it for now. Tune in to next time when I revive this machine. Tune in to next time when I revive this machine. Oh, since I have you in my reach, let me show you people something. This is a Rosewell Pace. Pretty decent. Um, 
I just did something just to be doing it. I'm going to post this on Amazon and sell it for $350. I don't have the keyboard and mouse with it, but upon purchase, I will include a wireless keyboard and mouse. I'm not including a monitor because I assume that you have one. You can go to your local Best Buy, Micro Center, go order off a of new egg. Um, where is it? Tiger Direct. Where is it you shop from? You can get your monitor from there. Now, just like the E-Machine, the motherboard is the same one that I have in here. But I don't have 8 gigs in this machine. It's only 4. That's more than enough. As we run Windows 7 Professional, and I put in Microsoft Security Extension, which is antivirus software. I even took the extra mile of investing an extra $25 and getting the paid subscription of anti malware bytes. Um, yes, it was $25. I have a subscription for that. Um, let's get to this. Now, this is a 400 watt power supply. It's the same one I have in here. And I have to literally hair tight it to the point of, you know, Alright? You have four 2.0 USBs in the back. You have your Ethernet, your your audio. You know, you could make this actual gaming machine if you put a video card in here, but if you do that, you would have to probably put another, a better power supply in here as well. So, what kind of video card can you put in <coughs> with a 400 watt? I wouldn't recommend that. I would at least get a 500 watt power supply or better for a video card. Now, Today is actually Saturday, and I had a I have a, I had a new client, and this client actually expect me to let me let me calm that down. She had a computer that had viruses on it, and when I took a look at it, I noticed she had Windows XP. I'm not discriminating, but I would no longer work on anything that has Windows XP on it. Um, it's not even in the market anymore. You cannot buy it on, well, I don't know, but I'm not going to research it. I'm not, no longer going to work on anything with Windows XP on it. I will work from Vista to Windows 7. I'm not going to typically work on Windows 8. I know how to navigate through it, but it's not my cup of tea, folks. My preference is, my honest opinion, I hate Windows 8. I hate it. I wonder why would he merge an operating system with a Metro interface? It just sucks. They should have kept that with um <coughs> with the tablets. Now. 
same mother work, same power supply. I use the um hard drive out of a um that that's fitted for uh actual laptop just to keep the weight down and get good and proper airflow. Now the front has a blue LED fan that lights up when you um hook it up. I also have a Rosewell card reader, DVD burner, reader writer, as Carrie Holtzman would say. Yes, I'm watching you, Carrie. I love your videos. Keep up the good work. Um, some more you text. I can't think of your name right now, but Carrie Holtzman stands out. Oh, um, what's the kid's name? Super Clock Tech, um, don't judge me, I'm cheating a bit, okay? Let me cheat just a little bit, just a little bit, okay. Super Clock Tech, Gary Holtzman, um, do, 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 do. Let me switch to my different channel, I'm sorry. I got to switch accounts. I got to. I got to. I got to. I can't think of another <laughs> Linux Tech Chips. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't think of your name. Um. Uh. It's another guy. It's another guy. Uh, Larry Wilson, uh, whoa, the funny t computer guy, um, anyway, this is Elliot Fleming of Fleming Computer Tech. I see you guys later now. Bye for now. Oh! My very first computer that I ever built for myself. I'm actually on the computer right now, but I can give you a rundown on it. When I first purchased it, it's an i5 processor. I had eight gigs of memory, DVD burner, card reader, reader, card reader, and I had the factory stock cooling in there, and I. I didn't like the way it was looking, so I wanted to look, make it look a little funky, so I got um, a better one. Then I picked it out to um, 16 gigs. It's more than enough space that I need. Will I make it a video gaming computer? I don't know. Should I? I don't know. What do you think? So, yes, one tower is actually bigger than the other one. That's because it's made different, folks. Um, See you guys later now. This is L.E. Fleming of Fleming Computer Tech. See you guys later now. Bye for now.